I want to introduce you to my hometown, located in Washington State. So yeah, this is my latest zine, kind of. I did a very, very, very limited release a couple of years ago. I think it was like 2021. I literally only made like 10 of them. And that was it. I kind of just got busy and forgot about it. <laughs> so I wanted to do a re-release of this. And in case you missed out on it and were wanting it, here is your chance to get one. This is my first like dedicated instant photography zine. I've done another book in the past. It was a kind of a, well, uh, it's a long story. I'll leave a link to that too if you want to check it out, but that's gone, gone. Maybe I'll do another re release of that in the future, but not right now. But this one is of my hometown. I wanted to go around and take pictures of some spots around where I kind of grew up because a lot of these places are like changing their signs or just literally closing down and being demolished. So I wanted to at least capture some of it to, you know, survive. And even since I've made this, a couple of places kind of gone away, went out of business or completely rechanged their designs. The bakery outlet, it's the Fran bread store. I used to go to this place all the time when I was a kid with my grandparents and it's closed, it's gone. Uh, and I think that only happened maybe as of six months ago or just sometime this year, maybe late last year. But yeah, so this is kind of the last pictures <laughs> that anyone ever got of it. There's also another change in the book and that is of the Kays Motel. This is still there, but they actually did the opposite and fixed their sign. Yeah, they redid the neon. And I captured it at night and you can see only it's partially working. And even when I was recreating this book, there was a change that happened and I actually showed it in the book. This is of the Value Motel, which was a kind of a landmarky area, not a good landmark, I should say. It was known for very cheap, cheap rooms for hourly type shenanigans. And they closed up years ago and it has been redone. And what you can learn about it in the book I do a brief description of it, but this book is kind of like a field guide scavenger journal, if you will. Uh, it's all like handwritten and like notes, like I created this in the field. It's like a little notebook. It's pretty cool. It's eight by 10. Uh, towards the back of this, you can actually see the cameras that I use and you can learn about what I use and how I went about it. It's pretty cool. I was pretty proud of how this one came out. And you guys can get one of these right now in the link in the description. At the date of the release of this video, that is, because I'm only gonna be making these to order. If I sell five, well, guess what? There'll only be five made. If there's a hundred, then a hundred will be made. So this is gonna be a pre-order thing. The cutoff date will also be in the description below, or it's already cut off by the time you're watching this. It's also another perk to be a member in the Spitfire Club, because you actually get 24 hour early access to my videos, and you just get insider information when I'm releasing this stuff. So you would have had an opportunity to purchase this way ahead of time. And plus, of course, there's other great perks in there like the Zoom calls, the monthly photos, exclusive videos, extended videos, whole bunch of cool stuff. Links in the description. Consider becoming a member. It helps the channel. And again, this is all shot with instant film. I use Polaroid, I used Instax Mini, Square, and wide. Did I use mini? I might not have actually used mini now I think about it. I don't think I used mini. I think I used insect square and wide and Polaroid. There is one fake photo in here. Well, it's half real, half fake. It's a real photo that I printed on the Polaroid lab and that was because it's actually sort of impossible to shoot this photo with instant photography, unfortunately. And that is literally, thanks for visiting Hazeldale. It's on the back side of you know, the main cover, that's a real photo. The lighting right here is always in shadow and it's right on a road that you can't stop on. And so it's pretty much impossible to actually shoot that photo. So I had to shoot it with my phone and then print it on the Polaroid lab uh, to do. And I shot this across a couple years actually. Um, so you'll see summertime, you'll see rainy time, you'll see snowy time in here as well all across the different seasons. Really cool and fun book. So get yourself one, link in the description. Oh, and if I haven't mentioned it, these will come signed. That's all I got for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Now, get out there, make some art.
Maybe buy my zine before you head out.